Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Family Curse, and if you'd like to experience the Family Curse, the links in the details will be down below in the description for you, alright? This is going to be a first person horror experience where I'm going to be playing as a man called David who's just recently inherited his old family home that you see in the background there. It's a home and a family that he barely remembers though, because early on into his life he was sent to an orphanage and put up for adoption. Why would his parents do that? Could it have something to do with this family curse? I suspect it might, but we're about to find out, and I really hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave this video a like, leave your thoughts down below in the comments. This is Family Curse. This story happened to me one July morning when I received a registered letter in my name. This letter stated that my mother, Jennifer Blackwood, died suddenly, and now I'm the sole heir to the Blackwood Mansion. Ooh, it's a mansion, is it? Nice. These events threw me into confusion because I didn't even know my mother, because I grew up in an orphanage. Hmm. All my attempts to find out something about my parents have always led me to a dead end, but now, this letter is the key to the answers to all my questions that I've kept throughout my life. I don't care what the truth is. All I want to know is why my parents left me. Ooh. Maybe because of those shrill sounds that accompany you? <laughs> Just a guess. Alright. Seems like we've arrived. <laughs> Alright, so this is my old family home. The family home that I barely remember, and yet it does look familiar, doesn't it? I wonder why. What we got down here? Okay, so there's a phone. It doesn't seem like I'm going to be calling anyone right now, but I guess I'll keep that in mind. Can we get out of here? Can we leave? Doesn't seem like it, unfortunately. Never mind. Alright, well, let's get exploring, shall we? Let's see if we can find out a little bit more about this family curse. Yeah, this does seem familiar. I think I've walked through this house, I don't know, 10, 20 times in so many different horror games. The house is cool enough. Uh, you need to find firewood and matches to light the fireplace, is that right? Okay, the lock is closed, you need a key. And a code, by the looks of it. Right, so I guess this is my inventory. It doesn't look like I brought anything with me. Okay, yeah, so it's Q to open it. What's this? Diary? Journal? Yeah, I didn't bring a thing with me. It's always good to come prepared. I've seen this before as well. Right, there's not enough detail in the picture. I think we're looking for a little bear cub. Yeah. Alright, I'll keep my eye out. Can we open the cupboards and drawers in this game? I don't know. Let's see. Ooh. What's going on with the basement door here? It's all boarded up. A tool is needed here. Right, yeah, I'm going to need to find a crowbar or something. Hmm, already there's quite a lot to find. Okay. We've got the kitchen here. And, oh, the back door. Oh, well, I can't go out the front, but I can go out the back. Alright, here we are, the back garden. With a giant greenhouse. I guess this is a mansion, right? <laughs> ah, another entrance to the basement? Uh, it might be, but I can't use it. Hmm, okay. Let's see. Can I use any of this stuff? Are these the tools that I'm looking for? I don't think so. Can we go inside? Looks like there's a lock on it, but I can't use it. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Alright. I'm looking for firewood. I see some wooden pallets. I guess this isn't really what I'm looking for. Yeah, firewood and matches, right? Quite a big garden. Wait, is there more? Does this lead to a second garden? <laughs> it might, but unfortunately, yeah, I need to find a key. Hmm. Alright. What we got in here? There's a statue of something. Cthulhu? What? <laughs> a bit strange to find in the garden. Uh, hopefully I find a light source or something. Yeah, uh, when I find the matches, I suppose, I could use those. Hmm. Something over here? I see uh, a couple of boxes, a radio, beer bottles, cans. Nothing usable, though. 
Uh, hang on. Would this be the... Ah, the firewood? It's the firewood! Brilliant, okay. Just need to find the matches. Are they going to be out here too? Not down there. Oh, come on. Is that a fuse box that I see? Hang on. <laughs> I think it's a fuse box, and to be honest, I think there's a fuse missing. There is. There's not enough fuses. My goodness. All right. So, we're looking for a key, a bear, a code, matches, a fuse, some sort of tool to get the uh, the boards off. We're looking for a lot. Right. Okay. Well, that was the back garden. Let's go back inside and let's continue our exploration. All right. Yeah, I don't know if we can get the uh, the cupboards and the drawers open, to be honest. What's this? Dear Mr. Blackwood, as agreed, I stopped by on Saturday to pick up the necessary documents, but I didn't find them, as some rooms were locked. Tomorrow I'll go to the morgue and examine your mother's personal belongings. I think the keys should be there. I'll contact you after lunch. Sincerely, Jacob Miller. The notary. A note from a notary. Funny that. Hmm, okay. So, how many locked doors am I going to find? Probably quite a few. Ooh! Matches! Hey! Okay, so I think we've got everything that we need to light a fire. Good stuff. Nothing else around here? We've got the dining room. And yeah, we got the dining room. <laughs> Alright. So there's our quick little tour of the ground floor. And this is the fire that we need to get started, right? Let's see. So firewood. Alright. And then the matches. Just like that. Great. Okay. Hopefully that's going to keep us warm. What we got here? Are you tired? Would you like to take a nap? No! No! Not yet. Let's see. Right, let's uh, let's have a look upstairs, shall we? So, let's start with these two. Uh, this, I think, should be a bedroom, or it usually is, anyway. It's locked. Hmm. It's usually locked as well, to be fair. This one? Locked. Okay. Okay, we can go in here, this utility room. Uh, I'm not seeing anything to pick up. It's very dark. Light switches don't seem to work in this game, unfortunately. And it seems like I've got rid of those matches, so yeah, we're kind of stuffed. There's like an office or a study in there. It's locked. Okay. Another bedroom? Locked. Mm, yeah, I'm seeing, a, I'm seeing a pattern up here, to be honest. Here? This would be a bathroom, I think. Right, yeah, good stuff. Unfortunately, we can't use the toilet. Never mind. <laughs> they can't all be winners. Not a great deal to find upstairs. Unless I'm overlooking something. But it seems like, you know, the items in this game are quite easy to see because there's that white arrow above them. Yeah, like that. Alright, well, maybe I need to take a nap. I mean, all that exploring, it's kind of worn me out. All right, let's take a nap. Oh. Oh. What happened? Okay, well, the phone's working and someone wants to give you a call. Maybe it's the notary. What the hell happened to this place, though? Whoa, what the... Where'd that come from? At this point, I'm not going to ask questions, because, yeah, I needed something like that. What's going on here? What's happened to the house? Um, yeah. Uh, maybe you've been sleep redecorating? I don't know. Right, who's... Wait, the fucking front door's gone. The man hasn't, though. I like that. <laughs> Mum? Is that you? Are you apologizing for putting me out for adoption? I think I get the gist. Right, yeah. Front door's gone walkabouts, apparently. Okay. Well, yeah, it seems like the place has changed, so let's re-explore, shall we? Huh. Yeah. I don't know if I did this, did I? <laughs> Certainly hope not. This hasn't miraculously opened. Nah, no, still need a key. Still need the bear. Hmm. The boards? are still there. Much more blood on the floor, though. Hmm. Okay. Um. Right. Any more notes? 
Oh, God. Is that a corpse? Who could have done this? Hmm. I think we're seeing the curse in action, aren't we? Right, upstairs, maybe? Let's see. Let's retry these doors. Uh, oh! Hang on. Alright, we've got a bedroom here. Ah. There we are. Okay. Can I put on any other records? No? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Yeah, this place does need a little bit of work, doesn't it? Everything's so badly stained. Usually with blood. Right, let's get out of here. Oh. Who's this? Mom? Hmm. Uh, oh. Alright. <laughs> oh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's a bedroom slash prison? What have we got here? Gardener's photo. An old photo, okay. Barney Edward Adams. Hmm. Right. Is that the greenhouse out the back? Okay. What? Whoa. Bloody hell. Who are you? Right. There's a box on the bed. Unfortunately, I, I can't get through. It's like a cell, isn't it? Okay, right, let's let's come back to this a little bit later, shall we? Oh, alright. <laughs> Where's this gonna take me? What's this? Oh, oh, we got more boards. I think we're gonna need to find that crowbar. Hmm. Is that my mum? Oh, this can't be good. Oh. At least it's not me. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> okay. What the hell was that? Some sort of demon? Weird. Can we not look through again? Doesn't seem like it. That's that's probably a good thing. Yeah, that's probably a good thing. Okay, let's... Wait, what? I was going to say, let's get out of here. The door's been replaced by a picture of a door. Oh. Right? Oh, oh, now that's fancy. Uh. <laughs> Alright, I, I guess we're not getting out that way. Back here, then? Is there a gap in the wall? Maybe I can jump out the window? I'm not really sure. Oh, oh! It's here now? Oh. And we're back to the bedroom. Re Whoa, gee, okay. Alright! So far, so good. I'm quite liking this, to be honest. It is a little bit of an asset flip, but a fairly good one. Ah, right, okay. Oh, it's one of these. Just like that. How about that? <laughs> ah, right. There's the little bear. Okay. Uh, so that's going to go next to that locked door. There's no additional keys or codes, right? Just this stuff growing out from underneath the bed. Right. Can we get out of here now? We can. Good. Okay. Well, let's, let's keep exploring, right? So those two used to be locked. They're not anymore. Let's re-explore the utility room. Anything? No? What about... What about these two over here? Alright, we can go into the study, and the bedroom's over there. What's this? Whoa! <laughs> Alright. Some of the jump scares are actually getting me. Uh, medical history for a, a Lily Krause. Right. Hmm. Let's have a look. 
Uh, the patient was admitted with complaints of high fever, migrating pains throughout the body, nausea, and profuse vomiting, severe headache. According to the conducted research, it's possible to intend an autoimmune disease of the body, but an accurate diagnosis has not been established. The treatment slightly stopped the symptoms. The patient was discharged with the dynamics of improvement for further observation by the family doctor. Hmm, okay. I guess that's got something to do with the curse. Seems like there's nothing around here for us to have a look at. What about the bedroom, though? Alright. Nothing? No? No, it doesn't seem like it. Alright, well, let's get out of here, then. Nothing here? No? Uh, what about the bathroom? Yeah. Let's go back around here. Okay. Nothing in the bath? No. Alright. Over here by the... Oh. What's this? Oops. Wow, yeah. These jump scares are getting to me. Oh, it's the fuse. Right, it's the fuse. Good, good, good. Uh, well, I guess that means we should probably go back outside. That's a point. Has the garden changed? I didn't think about that. But maybe. Maybe. Okay, so... Right, back down here. Okay, I'm going to go this way. Uh, actually, no. No, I'm not. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to put the bear in first. So the bear should go here. Yeah? What do you know? It's the perfect fit. Oh, and that gives me a key. Right. The combination lock key. Okay. So, this one? Alright. So yeah, that fits into the slot down there, but I, I think we still need a code, right? Yeah, the numbers are now unlocked, though. Hmm. Not really sure. It's four digits, so, like, maybe it's a year or something? Right. So, yeah. Let's go back out here. Let's have a look at the garden. Let's see what's changed. Maybe that's also covered in blood. Uh, doesn't seem like it. Not right now, anyway. Okay, so, yeah, the fuse box. Alright. Again, it's the perfect fit. Brilliant. So, does that mean we're going to have lights on inside, or... I don't know. Alright, so, let's see. Anything out of the ordinary? Anything changed? Anything new? I don't think so. Hang on. Yes, I do. Ah, okay. Hmm. Oh, wait, wait. Um, is it here? The gardener's photo. That's the greenhouse in the background, isn't it? Barney? Is it B-E-A? Maybe it's B-E-A. Like that. No? Oh, right, okay, I didn't hit the little button. Right, I did get it right. Good, good. Okay, so the lock comes off. And we're going inside the greenhouse. <laughs> that took a long time. That was quite ominous, actually. So, what are we going to find in here? Something useful, I hope? Just for a second. I thought they were floating, but no, they're hanging. Right, on the other side of the trellis, maybe? What was that? Oh, something down here. Oh. Hello. Oh. <laughs> right. It's an axe. I was wondering if it was going to be a crowbar, actually, but I suppose the axe would get through the boards just the same. Is that it? Uh, I think that might be it. Right, well, let's, let's continue exploring, though. Let's see what else has changed. What about this statue? Oh. Oh. Hang on. It's shrunk. <laughs> but it's still strange. Yeah. What's all that about? That looks like it could be an offering or something. Yeah. Very odd. I take it this still needs a key? Still needs a key. The axe is not the key, surprisingly. Never mind. Never mind. Alright. So, yeah. Still can't use this? No. 
Well, why would I need to use that? I think now I've got a way down into the basement, don't I? Let's go back inside. Let's use that axe. And let's see if any changes have occurred now that I've put the fuses in. Was that light on before? I don't know. Hmm. This place might need to re-explore. I don't know. Let's see. Oh yeah, just like that. That is a sharp axe. Well, they're very brittle boards. One of the two. Oh, really? It's locked as well? I <sighs> okay, so I'm going to need another key. <sighs> right. It's... <sighs> it's probably the code that I need to work out next. Oh. Oh, did it turn this on? We've got four, six... Four, six, seven, two? Is that it? Hang on. Four, six, seven, two. No? Can I turn the key? There's no little button there this time. I guess that's not it. Maybe it's... 4762? No? Oh, come on. It's, it's got to have something to do with these, right? Ah, hang on. They've all got dates on them. I guess this is how long they lived. Is it when they were born? When they died? Their age? This guy up there, like this guy in the top left, he was 80. 65. 75, I think. And 30. Right, okay. Maybe it's an age thing? I, th I think it's got to be an age thing at this point. So let's try 4276. Okay. Is that right? Four two seven six says eighty seventy five sixty five thirty right. Uh, unless it's the other way around, it could be the other way around. To be fair, so seven two and then six four. Ah yes, okay. There you go. I was going from oldest to youngest. It's youngest to oldest. So here we are. What have we got here? Not much apparently. Oh. Okay, um, the doctor said the treatment doesn't help. Lily's getting worse every day. I don't know what will help us. We tried all the options of traditional medicine, but it didn't lead to anything. Today, our neighbor, Miss Dawson, brought some herbal tea and gave it to Lily. She immediately felt better. I don't know what it is, but it really works. Miss Dawson appeared in our city about six months ago. We don't know each other well, even though she lives next door. After learning about our sorrow, she said she could help us. She's a witch, isn't she? Today, Lily is worse again. Herbal tea no longer helps. Miss Dawson said that there was something that could definitely help us, and brought a wooden idol. She said that this ancient deity is a relic of her family, and a rite of purification from the disease should be performed. God, I'm tired. I don't care what to do anymore. I'm ready to believe everything that can help to get Lily better. Today, Miss Dawson performed a purification rite. After that, she handed us a wooden idol and said that we should protect it. What can happen to this piece of wood? This is unlikely to help. Our family is in the lap of God. Amanda and I pray every day. Lily weakened after the ritual and slept all day. I can't believe it! Lily's getting better right before our eyes. The pain passed and she got an appetite. She's never eaten so greedily the buns that Amanda makes. This is some kind of miracle. Even the color of her skin has become healthy. If this purification rite really helps, then we're deeply in Miss Dawson's debt. It's unlikely that I'll keep this diary. Lily is completely healthy. All the tests are normal, and the doctors are surprised. They don't understand what's happening because Lily's disease is incurable, but the child is completely healthy. We can't tell anyone about the rite. Miss Dawson warned us that everything must remain secret. And who would believe us? Doctors are people of science, not superstition. Something strange has been happening to Lily lately. She's become very aggressive. Today, my daughter killed our cat. I noticed that after the rite, it was as if she had been replaced. Even the look has changed. Sometimes I'm scared to look into her eyes, as if it's not Lily looking at me from them, but something terrible. Some evil that hides in my daughter's body. I met Father Crawford secretly at church today. I told him everything that was happening to us. Even that Lily had killed a man. She chewed out the throat of Miss Jane, who helped us around the house and then smeared all the walls in her room with her blood. 
Father Crawford promised not to inform the police and to come for us tonight. He suspects that the purification rite of Lily was actually a ritual of diabolizing. Father Crawford said he could help us. And then, I have to tell the sheriff everything. God, help us. The fears were confirmed. A terrible evil lives in Lily's body. Father Crawford does not yet know what kind of demon is sitting inside Lily. And to expel it, you need to find out his name. I'm going to have a serious talk with Miss Dawson. After healing my daughter, she accursed us. Today, Amanda will take David to an orphanage in North Carolina and leave him for a while. It's dangerous for him to be near his sister right now. We'll pick him up after we perform the banishment ritual. I hope it won't take too long. And that's it. That's the end. Right. So, it was meant to be a temporary thing. I was just away for safety reasons and they were going to come and collect me, but I guess it didn't turn out that way, did it? I guess it didn't go right. So that's what happened. Yeah, my family didn't leave me. I was hidden because it was dangerous here. Looks like there's something on the other side of the desk, too. What's this? Oh, it's the basement key! Okay, now we can go down there. Brilliant. Anything else? Right, okay. That was uh, a bit long-winded, quite a lot to read, but hey, now we know a little bit of the backgrounds. That doesn't work? No, that doesn't work. Fair enough. Alright, well, basement it is, I guess. So, round here? Okay, let's hope it fits. It doesn't look like a basement key, it looks like a car key. <laughs> uh huh. Hmm. Very dark down here, isn't it? I've already sorted out the fuse box. Alright. What we got here? A furnace? An incinerator? Oh. oh. Okay. No one's inside. I was it the pipe? <laughs> it was the fucking pipe. Right, I'm not climbing in, am I? No, good. Do we have to operate it? Do we have to run this? Ooh, body parts. Oh shit. That's how she disposed of the bodies? Ooh, alright. The plot thickens. What else have we got down here? A barricade? Alright. What's on the other side, I wonder? Yeah, it's very, very dark. The, the candle is helping, but... Can I get a flashlight? <laughs> or some working light switches? Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, there's... <laughs> some more stairs! And I think my sister crawling on the floor. Yeah, alright, so... <laughs> we've had one basement, yes, but what about the second basement? <laughs> okay. <laughs> on earth? Seriously, what on earth? Alright, we've got a wheelchair down here. I didn't think this place was wheelchair accessible, really. Okay, nothing to find. Just a lot of blood spilt all over the floor. Okay. This way, perhaps? <laughs> How big is this basement? What am I hearing, exactly? These are cells, are they? Ooh, this one's occupied. Are you enjoying that? I who are you meant to be? Hi, my name's David. Are you a family member? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's my uncle. Hmm. Okay, this way? It just keeps on going, alright. Through this door? Ooh. Oh man, look at this. Oh wow. Well, you shouldn't play with your food. Now why weren't these incinerated? Alright, there's something down here. Let's take a look. If someone finds my letter, run away from this house, or you'll be torn apart by the terrible evil that lives in my daughter. We tried to perform a ritual of exorcism of this demon, but he understood our plan and killed everyone except me. The demon kept me alive because he needed that one who would take care of him. I can't escape from this house. This evil has entered my mind and my thoughts are out of my control. The only way out is to end uh, is to end my life, or end up my life in those bright moments when my sanity comes back to me. Right. Yeah, that was my mother. Jeez, alright, so... 
We've got uh, a couple of doors here. Let's try this one first. Seems like we might be missing something. A pyramid-shaped castle. Are these buttons? Hmm. Yeah, this, uh, this pyramid shape. I think something needs to go in it, don't you? Wow, okay. Over here. <laughs> More bodies? Alright. Jeez. How many people has she captured? How many people has she killed? How many people have occupied those cells? Alright. No. <laughs> Alright, now what's going on with these? Right. <laughs> this skull over here, perfectly fine. These guys, however, were turning into xenomorphs, it looks like. Yeah, they're a little bit warped. What about this? Oh? Oh god, it gets worse. Alright. <laughs> Some sort of bone broth being cooked there? What's this? Oh, it's a... Oh, the backyard door key! Right, okay. I guess that's where we're going next. Right, yeah. Uh, let's let's get out of here before I trip over any more bodies. Yeah, we obviously need something for that door. Nothing hanging up? No? <laughs> Nothing usable anyway, just body parts. I mean, is, is that my dad, my mum up there? I, I don't know at this point. Right. Oh shit, that's open. Oh boy. Is there an actual threat in this game? I don't know. There might be. Nothing to find here. Right, let's let's get out of the basement. And then let's get out of the upper basement as well, I think. Let's go to the backyard, if possible. Okay. Ooh. Oh, shit! Fucking hell! Right, yeah, okay, again, that worked. Uh, an audio jump scare. That was great, actually. That was That was really good. Certainly got me to get the fuck out of here, didn't it? <sighs> right. So, to the back... Yeah, see, that one didn't work as much. But yeah, back to the backyard, I think. Right, right. So, maybe beyond that door I'm gonna find the, the, the triangle thing? Let's find out. Yeah, this is, this is pretty solid. I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this a, a lot more than I thought I would. Alright. So yeah, all the way to the back. Is that the wooden idol that was mentioned? Now that's a statue, isn't it? Right, so, let's see. Okay. Oh. It does lead to another garden. And another house. I guess this would belong to the neighbour, right? Right, yeah, I think this is Mrs. Dawson's house. Let's see. Oh. Oh. Uh, <sighs> what happened to that axe that I had? I don't know why I got rid of that so early. What's in there? No bodies, surprisingly. There's got to be something in there, though, right? Okay. So, do we go in? Do we climb on the roof? What do we do here? I don't think we're going to be using the ladder, unfortunately. Can we go in? We can, it's unlocked, all right. Hmm, someone living here? Someone got a fire going. Oh god, look at this. Oh, okay, more exposition. <laughs> uh, we went with Lily's father to Miss Dawson's house, and it was a big mistake. She performed all her rituals in the astral world, having crossed the threshold of this house. We found ourselves in a different reality, and we're now prisoners of this house. I managed to find out that each demon has its own haven in the other world. If we find this demon's home, then we can find Lily's soul. To interrupt the ritual, we need to steal an occult book and a ritual knife from the witch, with which she gave birth to this evil, and destroy the manuscript by piercing it with a knife, right in the demon's halls where Lily's soul is hidden. May the Lord help us. Ah. Uh... I think this is me right now. Is this note from 2003? So it's been 20 years since my father and the priest died here, and my mother's mind was controlled by a demon all these years until she killed herself a week ago. Now I understand why my parents' house changed when I woke up. I entered the astral world. But why didn't the witch complete the ritual in so many years? I have to finish what my parents started. And save your sister, or, or save my sister. 
Okay, that's that's the end of it. Right, okay. So, <laughs> Ouija board. Brilliant. So I'm going to need to find a book, a knife. Yeah, okay. Uh, I am wondering about Miss Dawson, though. Is, is she still around? Is she upstairs, maybe? Hmm. We're going to find out sooner or later. Nothing useful down here? No? Okay. No keys, no tools, nothing like that. Upstairs we go. Alright. Let's just take this floor by floor, shall we? Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's not behind me. That was that was coming from in front of me. Right. That didn't sound good. Do I want to open this door? Right. I need to figure out how to open it. Maybe I don't. <laughs> Just throwing that idea out there. Maybe I don't. Okay. So we have to find out which symbol it is. It is like a, a four-digit code of sorts. Or a four-symbol code. Am I going to find the symbols around the house somewhere? Hmm. Let's see. Can I grab that? I mean, that's probably going to last me a little bit longer than this candle. It's a miracle I haven't started burning my fingers yet, honestly. In here? I <laughs> hey there. What's this? Oh, right, okay, we're watching something? There's an old video recorder. I guess maybe I need to bring back a VHS tape. Yeah. Do you know where a VHS tape is? He probably does. Okay. Oh, there's a, a key to the shed. And a voodoo doll. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't interact with that at all. I didn't stop it turning. I just stood here and I watched it. Oh, and so did you. I didn't realise I had company. Alright. So the key to the shed. Maybe we should just get out of here. Try that shed. Or maybe we should keep on going. Let's see. Up to the attic now. I'm definitely not alone here, but I haven't seen Miss Dawson. Hmm. Okay. Nothing. No. Oh, hang on. Ah! The VHS cassette! Yes, okay. We are going to be watching a tape. I think that's all she wrote for the attic, so let's fall down here and let's go and watch that VHS, shall we? Okay. You want to come back over and watch it with me? <laughs> let's see. Oh. Oh, there was a symbol there, actually. Oh, and there's one there as well. Are those the symbols that we're looking for, for that combination? Oh, there's a third one. Oh, oh. Okay. That would be number four. Right. Was that Miss Dawson? <laughs> uh, uh, right. Can we have a look at that again? Okay, so it's that. I'm just making a note of these. And we've got like a miner's pick with a line. The third one... Okay. And then that... That would be the fourth one. Okay, okay. I might be able to get that open now. Although I don't know if I want to. Uh, right, yeah. I I'm going to avoid that if possible. I'm actually going to go down here and see if I can leave and see if I can maybe get that shed open. Alright. Yeah, out here. I think I could use this, right? So, here we are. Here's the key. Brilliant! So what am I going to find in here? A shotgun? That'd be nice. <laughs> well, there's something. A battery. Not what I expected to pick up, but okay. What's that for? Hmm. Is that it? I think that's it. A battery? Why? 
Hmm. Right, okay, well, let's go back in. Uh, I think with those symbols that I just noted down, I might be able to get through that door. But <laughs> if I get through that door, I'm going to see what was making that noise. And, uh, yeah, that, that doesn't sound so good. Okay, so here we are. Yeah, what? What's making that noise? Was it the something in the videotape? Right, so the first one, it's that middle one. And then it was the sort of minus pick. The third one is that one at the top. Just like that. There you go. There you go. All right. This, like the neighboring house, is a big place. It's not working. It's not working. Okay, fine. This looks very familiar. This is the area from the tape, isn't it? Wait, is that a lever? Oh no, it's a, <laughs> it's a knife in a portrait. Whoever that was, she really didn't like. <laughs> Bloody hell. Right, am I going to meet my end around the corner? Right, the symbol's gone, but this hasn't. What's going on with this? All right. The chains are preventing me from getting into this room. I guess I'm going to need some bolt cutters? The battery's not going to do it. Okay. Well, I made it further than the guy did in the video. Got some stairs? All right, well, let's, let's keep on going. One floor at a time, right? What was that? Whoa, whoa, okay! You're still here? Oh, shit. <sighs> okay. Oh, wow, okay, you, you're actually following me. You're chasing me. Great. Uh, so, yeah. What do I do? What do I do here? I, maybe I should have just gone down the stairs. Oh, you bloody hell. Uh, I, I might be able to go around. Oh, I can use the door now. Oh, fuck. Oh, right, bloody hell. Wait, what's this? A shovel. I've got a shovel. Okay. That could come in handy. Is this where I first saw the monster? I think so. Right, okay, so that was a nice little shortcut. We're gonna go down now, we're gonna go down. Hopefully the monster doesn't follow us down here. Okay. Nothing down there? Nope, sorry, sorry, <laughs> didn't mean to step on you. Now where's this? This place is massive! <laughs> Alright. Oh, let's try this door. Another bathroom? Okay. Again, unfortunately, nothing in the toilet. Oh. There might be something in the bath, though. Is that filled with blood? Alright, let's drain it. <laughs> Shit. Whoa! Right, um... <laughs> everywhere? Yeah, it is everywhere. Which way? Not that way. Oh, shit. Hey! I'm so sorry that I ruined your bath. Oh god, he's growing. Um... Excuse me, can... Could you... Could you move? Oh shit! I... Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, there, there is something in the bath. A ritual talisman. Oh, that... That's for the lock. Yeah, that, that chained lock, isn't it? Maybe we don't need the bolt cutters, then. That does, however, mean that we need to go back upstairs. Wonderful. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, let's, uh... Let's keep this party going. Huh. This way? <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, left or right? Left. <laughs> This is actually reminding me quite a lot of The Conjuring House, or whatever it's called now, The Dark Occult. Anyone else getting those vibes? Jesus, look at this. It looks like there's something missing in this totem. <laughs> it's not the shovel, it's not the battery, and it's not the talisman. It, it looks actually like there's a bone missing. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, a bone should be sticking out there to make it all symmetrical. So we're looking for a bone. Oh, if we're looking for a bone, is that why I've got the shovel? Maybe I need to dig one up. Ah, there's a thought. Is that a window? Oh, it's it's a mirror. Not a door, though, right? No, I can't walk through it. 
Okay, so through here. <laughs> All right. I'm just trying to imagine the floor plan of this place. It's massive. Seems like it's a child's room with a child's... Oh, with a child's drawing. Look at this. Ah, that's the tire swing, that's the shed. Is it, is it behind the shed? Maybe that's where I need to dig. Maybe that's where I need to dig to find a bone. Right, right. Oh, hey again. <laughs> oh, this doll's got a keyhole on its back. And I guess I can't break it open or power it up. Hmm. Right. Uh, yeah, okay, I think... <laughs> I think we need to go back out to the garden. And on the way, maybe I could use that talisman. Yeah, so we're going back. We're uh, we're maybe putting ourselves in danger again. Honestly, this game has turned out to be a pleasant surprise. After the first couple of minutes, I wasn't really expecting much. It had fairly humble beginnings, you know. But yeah, there's been some there's been some cool sections and some fairly original moments. This way. I don't know where this thing is. Is it still roaming around? Yep, definitely. In fact, I think it's protecting that door. Right. Goodness gracious me. Okay. If I run around quickly enough, I might be able to get in there. Here we are. So this is going to be like the other half to the lock? Oh no, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go on top. Wow, look at that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, bloody hell, it gets worse. Can I can I close the door, please? Oh, shit, right. Oh? Yeah, thankfully this thing can't open doors. Ah, the battery? I don't know what I'm doing here. Maybe I should figure that out before I just start placing things. What's that? Okay. It's a strange device. I wonder what it's for. Me too. Is it for the shovel? No. It's for something else. Goodness gracious me. Alright, hang on. What's this? The occult book. Right. <laughs> the special edition version as well. Yeah. It's not worth getting the normal one. Always get the special edition. Right. So I, don't I need to, uh, don't I need to stab that? That's the manuscript that I need to stab to, to save my sister? Hmm. Do I put that here? No? No. Okay, right. Oh, okay. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. I'm going to go around here. I'm going to go out the building, into the garden, and hopefully I'm going to dig up a bone. Okay? Alright. Down we go. Good stuff. Alright. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a decent game and it's lasting quite a long time too. Right, so that's the tire swing. We need to go behind the shed. Or maybe we don't. Here? Yeah, looks like this is the place that's marked on the map. This is it. This is where I'm going to dig up the bone. Is the bone also going to be pink? Oh. It's not a bone, it's a it's a key, and a few toys as well. A small key. For the doll? Right, it's for the doll. I thought it was going to be back there. This shed seems very familiar. Everything in this game is, like, you know, an asset flip. It, nothing I haven't seen before. But it is very creatively done. Yeah, here we are. Right, the doll. The doll hasn't gone walkabout. So, yeah, let's use the key. I'm having regrets already. What's this really gonna do? Whoa! Um, that was a definite mistake. Oh, it's got that bone though, it's got that purple bone. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Not what I expected, but uh, I'll take it. Thanks, kid. Okay, all that all that for this ritual bone. Right. 
like the bone of the cosmos. Look at the way it's decorated. Yeah, okay. So the bone is going to go on that little altar, I suppose, which is what? Across from me? Yeah. Yeah, let's see if we can jam it in. There we are. It feels like every move I make is the wrong one. It feels like I'm just basically becoming a witch myself, you know? Oh, mm, okay. So I can undo that. Why? Well, right. After all that effort that I put in to get it, let's put it in and let's re-explore the place, I guess, right? What? What's changed? Is it just the eyes lighting up? Hmm. Oh. No, it's not just the eyes lighting up. So what's this? The the, the demon realm? Oh, good. oh wow. Right, these these things are barriers, I assume. I hope. <laughs> wow. Okay, yeah. They better not come down. What's this? Accept, Lord, the blood of this family, and come to Earth to rule. There's three filled chalices. One is missing. I suppose that's awaiting my blood, isn't it? Right, yeah. So that's... that's the deity. Fuck me. Right, we're okay, we're okay. I think. Let's keep on going. Oh man, this is gruesome. It's like I'm playing Scorn again. <laughs> oh? Wow. Ooh. Is that it? Is that the demon? That's what I saw earlier, right? Is that a... It's a heart. It's a human heart. Oh. Uh, okay. Is that as far as we go? It is. Right. The heart. What? Ooh. That device that I powered up with the car battery, is that where I put the heart? I don't know, it's just a lot of guesswork for me at this point, but maybe. Or, or maybe I squeeze out the blood from the heart into this, but that really doesn't seem like a good idea, so yeah, let's let's not do that. Get me the fuck out of here. Right. Okay, so now if I take the bone back and I try the door again... Right, yes. <laughs> cool! This is really cool! We're going to have to go back upstairs, aren't we? Yeah, alright. So, around here. Up the stairs. It's up here. I need to go that way, but I'm probably going to run into it. No? Okay. We're in. We're in. Okay. Okay, it's still powered up. The battery's still got some charge left. I'm gonna try the heart here. Yes, the heart works. But what am I doing? Alright. Am I Dr. Frankenstein now? What the? Oh. Hi. Is that? That. Oh. Oh, that is a door. I thought that was a, an unusually large mirror, to be honest. Oh, this is the. Oh, this is the ritual knife. I think. Yeah, I need to. I need to stab the book with this knife. In the demon's realm, right? Okay. Can we stop that? I. Uh, I guess I guess we don't want to stop that, do we? Right. Okay. Goodness gracious me, you don't look much better from the back. In fact, you might look worse. Go left, would you? No, not this way. All right. Well, thankfully, fairly easy to outrun, especially with that shortcut. So. Around here. Okay. Brilliant. Down the stairs, through here. 
Not there, that's the bathroom. <laughs> the second left. And then straight on. I'm going to walk through that, aren't I? Okay. And now where are we? Is this the demon's realm? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Am I just walking in circles here? Yes, but no. Maybe this is what I need to do. Let's let's keep on going. Maybe I'm going to find a door. Yeah, things are changing. Right. Let's keep going. Nothing over there? No. No doors have appeared quite yet. But that's expanding. Let Ooh, look at that. Let's keep going. Now what does it look like? Ah, uh, oh, hello. All right. This is great. I'm really enjoying this. This has uh, really surpassed my expectations, this game. Oh my. Wow. This way? It feels like I should be stabbing the book right now, you know? I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> you can't drag and drop or anything? No. Right, what have we got here then? Thought these were giant tarot cards for a sec. Huh. Alright. What's this? Is this meant to mean something? Hmm. It's a strange lock with symbols. I need to figure out how to open it. Ah, so each of these I can spin. Um, okay. We have a sort of a big, a medium, and a small, so... Maybe the small ones to do with that. This is the big one. These these symbols, let's see. Ah, yeah, okay. Are they all They are all different, I think. That that's one of them. That's the big one, I think, right? Yeah, that's the big one. So that's affiliated with that symbol that I used before. So, let's go back to this. Um, so, does that need to be at the top? Do they all need to be at the top? Or do they need to be facing their symbol? I'm not sure. Let's look for this one next. This will be the, the middle one. Okay. <laughs> I like the music. I'm not entirely sure if I'm in danger sometimes. Uh, oh, that... That looks familiar. That's the that's the small one, isn't it? So yeah, we've used that symbol before as well. So that's gonna be that one. And then if I keep on spinning this, hopefully something's going to work. There you go, there you go. <laughs> that would be the pyramid, right? That would be that triangle that was missing from the door in the basement. I almost forgot about that, to be honest. Is it the flower Ross? Is that what it's going to be called? No, it's a figure in the form of a pyramid. Right. Okay. Is that all we needed? Maybe. I, I don't think we stabbed the book right here, right now. Pyramid? Yeah, I saw a door in the basement of my parents' house with a picture of the same pyramid. All right, I think that's where I need to put it then. We're getting out of here. Or at least, we're going to try and get out of here. Yeah, okay. So it all leads back to my parents' house. It all leads back to that second basement. All those bodies. Alright. So, yeah. Back this way? Right, so back through here. Any jump scare? No, no jump scare this time. Uh, right. That was that guy that escaped the cell. Is he... Is he actually around here? I don't know. I kind of legged it before, didn't I? But, you know, there are actual enemies in this game, so I wouldn't be surprised. Let's just go. Here we are, then. Here we are. Yeah, back to the alien skulls. <laughs> so. 
Yeah? It's a bit small. Ah. Uh, right. What's that? Good God. More bodies back here as well. Right, I, I guess we're going in. Wow, look at this! Okay. Alright, up the stairs. What am I seeing? That? That's her, isn't it? That's my sister. That's the soul of my sister. Alright. I think there should be something in this in this box. What box? Is this where I maybe put the special edition down? That's right. Yeah. And then, of course, the dagger. Right. Right. Okay. Where did she go? She just kind of fell down and disappeared like everything else. Did I do it? I, I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> uh, Alright. Oh, there's a door back down here now. Right, was that it? Are we getting out? I don't think there's anything else to do. Don't tell me it's going to be locked. Oh no. Step into the lights. Six months later? How slow were you walking? Wow! Okay. So, I did it? I saved the soul of my sister? Lily, come down. Breakfast is ready. Right. I think she's alive and well. I'm not possessed. What are we going to do about all those bodies in the basement, though? <laughs> Probably best to board it up again. Oh. Oh. Well, there's another reason to board up the basement, and that was that. That was Family Curse, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video. Is this it? This is the extent of the credit sequence? The end, stalk game. Fine, fair enough. Short and sweet. That was pretty fun, overall. Sure, it wasn't the most original thing in the world at times, and yes, it was an asset flip, but overall, it was a good one. Uh, and I really enjoyed how creative it was at times. I wasn't expecting to go into these other dimensions. I wasn't expecting these rather creative jump scares near the beginning of the game as well. And it lasted a, you know, a good amount of time too. Yeah, this is an asset flip done right. Like really, really well. I enjoyed it and I hope you did too. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And now I'm the sole heir to the Blackwood Mansion. Oh, it's a mansion, is it? Nice. All I want to know is why my parents left me. Ooh. Maybe because of those shrill sounds that accompany you? <laughs> Just a guess. Yeah, I didn't bring a thing with me. It's always good to come prepared. Oh, come on. Is that a fuse box that I see? Hang on. <laughs> Mom? Hmm. Uh, Alright. <laughs> Let's come back to this a little bit later, shall we? Oh, all right. At least it's not me. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> What's this? Whoa! What? <laughs> Nothing in the bath? No, all right. Over here by the... Oh, what was this? Oops. After learning about our sorrow, she said she could help us. She's a witch, isn't she? Oh, there's... Some more stairs! You shouldn't play with your food. Right. <laughs> this skull over here, perfectly fine. These guys, however, were turning into xenomorphs, it looks like. Okay. Ooh. Oh, shit. Fucking hell. Uh, I am wondering about Miss Dawson, though. Is, is she still around? Is she upstairs, maybe? 
I don't know why I didn't interact with that at all. I didn't stop it turning. I just stood here and I watched it. Oh, and so did you. I didn't realize I had company. One floor at a time, right? What was that? Whoa, whoa, okay. You're still here. <laughs> Shit. Whoa. The occult book, right. <laughs> the special edition version as well, yeah. What's this really going to do? Whoa! Oh, goodness gracious me, you don't look much better from the back. Right. What's that? What are we going to do about all those bodies in the basement, though? <laughs> Probably best to board it up again.